Hi folks, um, Steve here from Analytics in Action. What I want to do today is give you a demo on how to add grouping and drill down functionality to Microsoft Reporting Services reports. Um, so as a quick overview, I'll just talk about the goal of the tutorial, then give you a live demo and then provide some additional learning resources for SQL 2008 and 2012. So in terms of the, what uh, the goal of the tutorial is, it's essentially to turn a report like this, which is a simple um, tabular report, uh, uh, and then add grouping and drill through functionality. So this is um, the grouping we've got. See all the calls are grouped, all the picks are grouped, and all of the texts are grouped. Um, and then obviously we've got the drill through functionality. So when we combine this with my previous um, previous um, a true uh, tutorial on adding totals and subtotals we then end up with a this next version which is essentially a drill through report with subtotals and groupings in it so you can easily group those together and end up with a you know fairly nicely formatted report so what I'll do now is just jump a jump across straight into this um, live demonstration so three simple steps so I'm going to create a simple tabular report with a report wizard then I'll add grouping and a group footer then add um, drill through functionality so I'm going to uh, basically I'll close um, bids down so you open up business intelligence development um, studio uh, I'm just going to uh, I will just, I'll actually open a um, previously created um, tutorial. So what I'm going to do is just jump in and click reports and then I'm going to set the report wizard running. So add a new report. Then we're going to create a new data source. Um, I'm just going to call this calls2. I'm going to create a connection string to the SQL Server which contains the um, the data. Uh, so this will just take a second for it to refresh through. Um, right, come on. Taking a little bit longer than what it normally does. There we go. That's fine. I uh, know that it's in the learning database. Click OK. Uh, we're not going to make this a shared data source. Um, we're going to open the query builder to basically define what tables we're going to pull the data through from and what what fields. So we're going to pull calls data through. Go add, close. I'm going to add all the columns from that table. Click OK. That's fine. Click next. Well, now we're going to create a tabular report in this wizard. Click next. So I'm going to have the person's name on the top of the page and the rest of the information is going to be down in the in the details section. We could actually add um, grouping in here but for this purpose I just want to show you how to add it manually. Let's just click Ocean, Next, um, just call this um, Tabular, although we're going to turn this into obviously um, one with drill through and grouping. This will then just quickly render, so that looks pretty good. I'm just going to format it a little bit. I'll just got a little bit more space there, a little bit more space there. I'm going to delete out the the name, then I'm going to move it something a bit to somewhere a bit more central. So there we go. Cool. That's looking good. So first of all, we're going to add um, add grouping. So to do that, we just select the um, the date cell and then click the uh, this gray row selector right click it add group add a parent group and we're going to group by uh, ta -ta, we're going to group by usage types so that's calls text and picks and we're going to add a group header click OK Radio. Oh, so what I actually did was I um, I'd already included usage in the table. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly jump out and just get rid of this that column. Make sure that all looks fine. So essentially, that's now added the grouping in, and then now we just need to add in the um, 
the drill through um, functionality. Okay, now to add drill through, I mean drill, sorry, drill down functionality, um, we first of all need to select the row in which we want to initially hide. So um, just click on the little, the grey, the grey box on the outside on the row that we're after. Right click, click row visibility, and then we want to hide that row, um, but we can toggle that based on the usage type. So that's the grouped field. Click OK. And we'll just preview it. So now what we see here is that um, when we click on calls, we can drill um, drill down on that grouped group field. So if you watch my other video on adding totals and subtotals, that's on here on uh, uh, on YouTube, you can then quickly turn this report that I've created into this next report which has um, these subtotals here and then totals and also a little bit of um, just some cell merging that's um, that's gone on there as well so um, yeah if you found this useful come, definitely come across um, definitely subscribe to my youtube channel or the other option is to um, come across and take a look at my website analyticsinaction.com uh, and have a look at some of the um, some of the other reporting um, videos that I've had. So again, this adding totals, building basic reports, um, adding uh, creating parameter reports, um, yes, using wizards, you name it. Uh, also stacks of other information on things like predictive modeling, integration services, and analytics in general.